It's a year since refugees who had packed their bags for the U.S. never left. After being forced from family and needing to wait years for a meal they can call home cooked, a good night's sleep, or a more gracious America, the U.S. government took their fingerprints, blood samples, and four years of their lives to determine that they were safe enough for the safety of American soil they were denied. In a single day with the stroke of a single pen, but it's a year since we proved that the colored marker is mightier. That the parchment of an executive order is no match for cheap poster board. A year since we showed what we stand for by who we stand for. Our signs read no hate, no fear. Refugees are welcome here. In this country, we are all immigrants. In this country, freedom shouldn't play favorites. We sang in Arabic and Spanish to make damn sure we got our point across. Cross through Queens or downtown LA to show them that he is not who we are. We, the United States, of huddled masses, tired of waiting our turn, of hopes realized in arrival halls, of young dreamers who love naps but stay woke and prove it by holding protest signs bigger than their bodies and joining the chorus, build a wall, we'll tear it down. Band the skies, we'll take to the streets, call America great, and we will show you why. But it's a year since we lowered our signs. Since we left Terminal 4 and headed home, but there are tens of thousands of refugees still left waiting for theirs. Still banned from their mothers in Boise or their sons in Salt Lake, still left to text one another the messages of hope they get from no one else, still left waiting for their chance to remind us what it means to be American, and we still have work to do. So when you get out of your bed tomorrow morning, what will your sign say?